What is up everyone? This is John Meyer with Flying Filmmaker and in this video we're going to be looking at what LUTs are and how to use them to color grade footage from your drone or any other camera. Now before we get into it, I just wanted to mention that I'm going to be posting most of my tutorials and reviews on my new YouTube channel, Flying Filmmaker, from now on. So go check that out and I'll put a link to it down in the description. So what exactly is a LUT? It's actually an acronym for Look Up Table. It's essentially a table of numbers that your editing software uses to take one color in your footage and look up what color it should transform it to. So let's say that one pixel has a red value of 5 before you add a LUT. The LUT might take and remap that to 13. So all the technical details aside, a LUT is basically a color grading preset. Now broadly speaking, there are two types of LUTs, technical and creative. Technical LUTs are for going between two color spaces, like converting log footage to Rec. 709, also known as normal color space. Creative LUTs give your footage some sort of look, and they're what a lot of people think of when they think of LUTs. Now, before you can use LUTs on your footage, you need to get some LUTs from somewhere. Most video editors come with some LUTs, and there are dozens of free and paid LUT packs you can get online. But for this video, I'm just going to use the LUTs that come with my editor, which is DaVinci Resolve and several LUTs that I've created. There's going to be a free download of the LUTs I'll be using in this video in the description, so you can download those if you want to follow along, or if you just want to add a few high quality LUTs to your collection. Once you download them, you'll need to import them into whatever editor you're using. Now, I'm going to be color grading some decent like footage from my Mavic Air 2, and as I mentioned before, the video editor I use is DaVinci Resolve but the basic concepts will carry over to whatever video editor you're using. So let's get into that. Here's the drone shot I'm going to be color grading. This is already color graded about what we want it to look like. It's a long road up in the mountains, and here it is, raw footage, uncolor graded. So you can see it's pretty flat and boring. So the first step is going to be to add a technical lot to get this out of log into a color grading space that we can work with more easily. Now there's usually specific LUTs for different flavors of log, but I have my own LUT here that I've created that I really like, and it works on most flavors of log, so I'm just going to drag that over to my node here, and then it's already a massive improvement. As you can see, it looks much better than it did to start with. So now we'll add another node, and I have another LUT here that I've created just add some nice mid-tone contrast without affecting your highlights and shadows too much. So we'll add that, as you can see that gave it a little bit of extra pop. I think that might be a little bit too much. I'm gonna bring my shadows up a little bit because it did crush them slightly. So that looks pretty good. So now we have our basic correction done, a little bit of grading, and now we're going to add a creative look that will really make this shot pop. So we've got several options here, this is just a basic teal and orange LUT that I've created which gives you sort of that desaturated greens shifted toward yellow look. Um, that's one option we could do. Here's another one that I really like. This one is sort of based off of the M31 LUT. It's a little bit different version that I like better and it sort of gives us a nice grade there. I think that might be a little bit too strong, so what we can do is go over here into the key panel and turn down the node output here. Just tone that down a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, we'll put it right there. So there we go. We have a nicely color graded clip. Here's another one we can try. It's Gives you a pretty strong desaturated greens, maybe add a little bit of contrast to that one. That's another look that you could go for, or we can go over here into the film looks in DaVinci Resolve and they have several their own LUTs. These, they add quite a bit of contrast, so we'll tone that down a little bit, bring our shadows up, our highlights down, turn the contrast down a little bit, and there, that's another look we could go for. So that is how you can use LUTs to color grade your shots. You can get multiple different looks by using different LUTs. And of course, LUTs aren't all there is to color grading. You need to actually understand the color grading tools to get the maximum potential out of your footage. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial, I'm working on putting together a whole series of tutorials just like this on how to shoot, edit, and color grade drone footage. If you'd like to get in on that when we release our course, there's a link in the description where you can sign up for our email list. 
We're also going to be continuing to put out more content like this here on our YouTube channel, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time.